What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in my path to power. Before we get into the episode, before we get into the Division 1 gameplay, if you guys are looking to purchase some Ultimate Team Coins, make sure to check out FUT Coin Emporium. They're cheap, quick, and reliable. Their link will be in the description down below. So you can see I added on our new addition mainly well to the bench we got Sahin we got Hummels we got Royce so a bit of a little Dortmund addition in there as well and I added uh, Mr. Sturridge in there one part of the old SAS so uh, I decided to keep this team rather than go switching things around because this gameplay takes place right after all of those packs were released so the market is essentially beep I'm not gonna I'm it's it's so screwed up at this point the market has been destroyed everybody's gonna lose coins on players cards everything that they had so yeah i don't really know what i want to do with it but we're into a match coming up against this guy really bundesliga team and the mighty hulk uh and oh how unlucky is that he mistimed it so in situations like that if you're that guy you have to remember that you need to think about when you are going to time your, you know, your attempted shot or, you know, taking the ball down, whatever it is. It leads to an instant counter. Jefferson Farfan, an absolutely ridiculous pass, finds Griezmann. Griezmann in the middle, back to Griezmann and a lovely finish with his right foot into the bottom corner. Griezmann has turned up. He shows up in this episode. Fantastic for the money. And after all those packs are open, he's got to be he's got to be cheap as they come in fact he's probably the best cheap left-sided la liga player i put him ahead of dos santos put him ahead of via put him ahead of you know in fact i like him better than the inform pedro so there is that to say now i don't know about the inform neymar if he's better than that but there he is griezmann showing up shopping inside love having neuer in goal because it means that the possibility from counters off of uh, you know him punting it out or kicking it out of the area, it's a distinct possibility because of how high his kicking rating is in FIFA. Many keepers, you just don't stand a chance with that sort of thing. 77th minute, Robert Lewandowski called offsides for my opponent, and he's using the 4-3-2-1 formation. I've talked about it before. The main reason I don't like this formation is because it feels very um, predictable. For the most part, you try to play an A pass to a left forward or right forward. Then you try to play an LBA off of your striker and then a through ball. Same thing. You can play it in the middle of your striker, LBA to either left forward or right forward, and then a through ball. And uh, I just don't like feeling that predictable. Leaves it the Griezmann on the volley. Uh, crushes it in with his right foot. A little bit risky. That could have definitely skied, but it tucked in. Might have caught a little bit of top net there, which of course is the best net. So 3-0. A great start to our first match in Division 1. And how about this? This is the most ridiculous goalkeeping AI I have seen this year on FIFA. What the actual heck was that? I did not hit Y. Now, my first instinct, if someone had shown me this, I would say, dude, you hit Y and you shouldn't have done that. The game messes up when you hit Y and call out your keeper. I did not hit Y. Neuer does this all on his own. What is that if I had been in a game where the stakes had been high and something like that had cost me all three points or, a, you know, it had been a pink slips match because I started doing those first one to be up tomorrow versus the FIFA player. If something had cost me, I would have been absolutely furious with the game. However, I was already up 3-0, so watching this replay three times only you know kind of ticks me off for a little bit because it didn't really matter in the end i'm still gonna get all three points it's just more of a oh my god 90th minute are you kidding me so mario gets it gets a goal for him and what would be one of the longest strikes strikes i think i have ever ever seen you're seeing some more oh man those replays i missed a bunch of chances in that match uh but three points nonetheless making our way forward we need 23 points to win the title in division one um and 23 points, you know, games remaining, we have nine, which would be, what is that, a maximum 27 points, something like that. So you really can't drop many points to win that Division One title. So I'm going to have to do my best. We're going to go ahead and heal Fabregas. I have heal cards. Players don't get injured that often. Give Griezmann a big boy contract because we got a bunch of those from those free packs and head on into our next match. 
this guy pretty nice 433 side he's using the downgraded uh downgraded diego costa and i think that's amrabat i didn't realize amrabat transferred over to la liga where have i been with that he is a decent player on ultimate team i was trying to figure out how he was in this squad i figured he just played him on like no chem but he did have some chemistry indeed shabby alonso lovely first time pass to griezmann and i didn't want to force it and then i saw my gap oh the quick little turn on the fake shot he crushes it into the far corner put a plate up in that corner and it would have been shattered fantastic finish from the young frenchman who's having a standout season this year uh and i said he you know he might be the star of the episode the little fake shot turn guys it is so good you can do it first time as well it's one of those things that i always say i need to incorporate into my game more i just never consciously go about doing it because it is so effective a little bit lucky right there not the best pass backwards nonetheless we're gonna spring griezmann free down the side and kind of waiting for something to happen here a little bit of this a little bit of that and we're gonna eventually just slow it down put it in the middle shabby alonso again lucky to keep it some sloppy possession play and that is where he makes a mistake in the midfield. We'll go ahead and have a shot. If that had been Xavi Alonso's right, maybe something a little bit better. Nonetheless, the rebound far fun. Puts it in the middle. Fabregas crushes it into the near corner after he took it down. And I don't think I was meaning to take it down. It just did one of those things where it took the touch. And I was like, uh, come on, just kick it. And then it turned out to be perfect. So I wasn't complaining all that much. So Benzema back home in uh, in in a Leon Stadium. Maybe my I think my stadium must be the Leon Stadium. Maybe that's why Kareem Benzema is so good. Speaking of Benzema. There he is, finessing it into the bottom corner. 3-0 first half lead in this one. I really could not complain about that. Again, three goals for me. And I thought it would only be fitting at this point to, uh, to have a mirrored result. So what you're about to see is... Me giving up a goal on purpose, of course, guys. Of course, I, you know, I purposely did this. And uh, no, not purposely at all. I absolutely get done by this dummy from Diego Costa. Absolutely wrecked. Lovely finish into the bottom corner. Neuer, nothing he could do about it. 74th minute. 3-1 is the score in this one. Is And that is how it is going to come to a close. Anyways, guys, I want to say thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy to like or thumbs up, would always be greatly appreciated. I will be streaming today, so there's a good chance that that is going on while you are viewing this video. Thank you guys for your support on the first video of the day of the Division One El Clasico project. Well, the El Clasico Division One. The Division One Project El Clasico episode. So thank you guys for that. Um, let's see. You can follow me on Twitter at AirJamesFiva. Other than that, my name is James, and I will catch you all next time.